Well, howdy there, folks. This is Michael Wheelman in the garden with you today. This is what my garden looked like when I first started, but over this winter, I expanded it all the way to the back so I'd have more space. And today, I'll just be showing you what I've got going on so far this year. Here I've got some carrots that uh, sadly got eaten by some bugs, but in these other pots I planted some more, so hopefully that'll work. In this box I've got potatoes. I'm doing that thing where you fill up the box as you go to try and get more potatoes. Last year I just grew them in ground and that worked out okay, but from the way they're going I think it's going to be pretty good. And right on top of that I got this planter with some lavender and uh, thyme I think. I left it uncovered during the snow and I didn't think it'd come back but right there you can see I got some I think it's weeping heart amaranth and a rosemary cutting. And next to that I got a banana tree, ice cream banana. Sadly, right after I ordered it, there was a hailstorm, and it shredded up the leaves, and I didn't know if it was actually going to make it or not, but it looks to be doing pretty good, so I think I'll be alright. And next to that, I got a, a really big rue that my sister gave me a few years ago, and my brother planted a spider lily. It, it got shredded up too, but I think it's okay. <laughs> And uh, these are some flowers I planted, marigolds and whatnot. But Chico ran in here right after I planted, so they're all kind of everywhere. Oh, and this is the first thing I ever planted right here next to my potatoes. It's a mint plant, and every year it comes back even bigger than before. I usually just burn the stuff to make my fire smell better. But uh, next to that, I got this box where I planted a sunflower and uh, some more potatoes in this bucket, doing that same thing. I planted pumpkins in here, but I think the seeds got eaten by squirrels because they haven't really, like, I haven't seen them come out of the ground or anything. And in the other bucket, the other two seeds that I planted already came out, so, I mean... It's okay, because both of those plants couldn't be there anyway, so I'll probably just transplant that little one into the other bucket. And right here, I got my lettuce and my dragon fruits. Same thing with these. The storm came, and really only one of them, that one, is doing pretty good. This lettuce, um, really... The part that's close to the tree isn't doing so good. Too much shade. And next to that, I got my cactuses. Chico came in the garden on that same day he fucked up my other shit. He also broke my cactus right there, you can see. But uh, I transplanted that into that other little pot, and it's doing okay. And this one's putting on some new growth. Hopefully uh, in a year or so I can get some tunas from it. And next to my cactuses I got a cayenne pepper and a tea plant and I got some tomatoes too that my brother wanted. And next to that I got another pepper. You can see he did that uh, super soil stuff so they're doing pretty good. Look at that. Real big. And right next to that, I got my semi-depressing corn plat. Uh, this corn has just had, like, really bad luck. First and foremost, it rained super hard, and the seeds got all moved around. And then the hail came, and they got all beat up. And then that day the dog came, he, like, squished some of them. You can see right there. It, it's all broken. Man, they're worse for wear. And I got these mulberry trees that are growing in my yard. I didn't plant them, they kind of just showed up. They've been there since I was like, eight maybe. And uh, yeah, those are just about ready to eat. They're okay, they're kind of bitter. For those of you thinking that this doesn't look like much, 
All I can say is that in my time gardening, I've definitely gotten back what I've put in. Sure, a lot of my vegetables aren't, like, perfect, but, you know, at least they come out and they're edible. And maybe my setup is a little shitty, but oh, I'm definitely making progress, and I think that's the most important thing. In any case, this is what I've been up to since my last video. It's a little shrunken head. But, uh, yeah. Until next time, this is Michael Wheedleman, Jesse Ariano. Y'all take care of yourselves now.